Hello guys, today we are going to be playing Derail Valley, and this isn't a gameplay video, this is actually a tutorial on how to operate the steam locomotive. So, first thing you need to do is you need to get a, C a license for the SH282. Now, you're going to want to enter the vehicle once you have it, or enter the locomotive. Then, buy a, you should buy a shovel from somewhere, as well as a lighter. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to open the fire your door. Next, what you want to do is you're going to want to turn this, this thing right here, the injector, clock, counterclockwise, and the water gauge here will start filling up. Then, when it's full, then you turn, turn the injector clockwise to turn it off. Now, you're going to have to watch this gauge. Not that much, but you are going to have to watch it. It's an important, because it's an important step. Next, you're going to want to take out your shovel. You're gonna click the left mouse button to to shovel coal onto your shovel. Then you're going to want to go over to the firebox with the open door and you're going to want to press your left mouse button to unload the shovel into it. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shut off the brakes. Make sure they are off. So the brake by default will be set like that and then you can turn it off and on. Here's the whistle. You do need to have pressure. Which here's the pressure gauge. I'm gonna tell you about that later. So, then, this is the reverser. If you turn it counterclockwise all the way up, top power, forward. Turn it clockwise all the way up, reverse, full power. So, we're gonna want to turn this forward for now. Then, what you do is you're going to want to grab your lighter, light it. Once it is lit, throw it in by pressing G. It will start a fire, and you will get your lighter back, too. Then, close the fire door. You should shovel more, you do have to shovel in more coal, just to make sure that pressure will build up and coal, the level of coal in the firebox will slowly heat go down and so you're going to have to watch that. Here's the pressure gauge. You want it to get over 18. You are going to have to watch this pretty much at all times and you're going to want to shovel coal a lot as well. Once your pressure is built up to 18, you're going to, then I'll tell you what to do after my pressure is built up to 18. Also, you guys, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing more Derail Valley soon because I finally got the game because it's so awesome. So anyways, while we're doing that, I'd like to show you guys a skin I got with a mod. So I have a lot of skins here, but my favorites are the Rio Grande ones and the GNR Green. Now, let's go with the GNR Green for now because I like that one. And I can also spawn this with my comms radio with another mod I got. And my wallet has a lot of cash because of a save editor. That's how I got like all this gear and the golden shovel and stuff. So what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to keep shoveling coal into the firebox and wait until this pressure gauge gets up to over 18. Now, while you're moving, here's a fire tip. And I'll actually show you in the ma ha the manual too, because in the manual it shows a lot. 
don't think I actually have the manual on me. I just need to find out where that went. Hold on one second. Okay, I forget where the quick guide went. But I do know that I have this pressure gauge building up. So now it's at 18. We're going to want to shovel in more coal. So once you hear it weesh, that means it's ready. Now you can shut the fire door. So while you're moving, you're gonna want to have this down because it creates a draft, making the fire burn more, which can keep your pressure off. Next, you're going to want to slowly and carefully pull the, the throttle, pull, pull the, the, the regulator up. Now there are lots of different speeds. I'm just gonna demonstrate to you top speed. Now also we can whistle. Now what we're gonna want to do is we're going to have to keep shoveling coal in to maintain it and watch the pressure gauge. Now with the with this pulled down, basically it activates something in the vents that makes it so that the fire burns hotter or because of a draft in the cab or in the firebox. And then basically it keeps the pressure up here even at full speed unless you don't maintain this properly. Now for using the brakes, you're going to want to not just apply the brakes, but turn the revert, but turn the regulator, pull the regulator completely out. Next and then wait for your train to slow down. It might have trouble slowing down if it's go been going too fast. The way, a way you can keep it from going too fast is by attaching cars to it. And now, just to let you know, if you have the brakes on and you try and move the locomotive, here's what happens. It makes that sound and it stops completely and just spins on the rails. So you're going to always, always want to maintain the fire, look at the pressure gauge, and most importantly, He just like man just manage your speed and everything will be completely fine. And you have to inject water in of course because it's used up. So now if we release the brakes and I pull this all the way out. The train will stop and we can now spawn in a vehicle. Now for a demonstration for you all, I'm going to spawn in a green passenger car, two green passenger cars. I'm going to change the skin to my NWR Express coaches because those always look good. Now we climb up here, and now I'll show you what it's like pulling freight cars. Pulling freight cars. Pulling freight cars is a very hard job indeed, as, and you have to maintain the fire lot, balance the regulator. It's a lot of work just to get moving with them. Now we aren't connected yet, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want, want to who set this 
we're going to want to turn it clockwise until it stops. Now, we can back up. We can look out here. And so once we've backed up onto the coaches, we can, we can then couple up to them. So what we're going to want to do is move back stop the train and now we have the coaches right here what we're going to want to do is first of all okay so my train seems to be moving forward a bit so I'm just gonna move it back by a little because the thing is we want to keep the train here and so uh oh are we why are we rolling, I wonder? It's a thing. Like, I don't know why our train keeps rolling forward. So I'm just gonna back us up onto the coaches until we completely stop. Then we apply the brakes. Now we'll come over here, we crouch under this, We'll take this chain, and damn it, why do I, okay, anyways, we're just going to back up a bit, because we need the train and the coaches to stay where they are, thing is, this thing keeps rolling away, alright, this whole time, you know what I could have done, I could have completely cleared those vehicles out, and just use a spawner to spawn them like right on the locomotive trail damn it all right for some reason this thing like it just like it thinks that it wants me to speed up i don't know okay so anyways pulling passenger cars and other freight cars are hard but the steam engine, honestly, is probably one of the coolest features in the game. And that's why I wanted to give you guys a tutorial on how to do the steam engine. I hope you guys enjoyed, and goodbye for now.